you gotta know that. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, man. Whack exposes Tommy as a rat. Oh no, jumper, man. Let's get right into it, man. But look, don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit that like button, though. Listen, I like it. Well, my, we well, my IG got swept. You don't want to switch? That's that. Mine is fire. Yeah, insane. No, nah, mine is fire. Mine's award winning. You can't f with mine, bro. I mean, you. My shit do tricks. Right back at you. My shit do tricks. <laughs> Blur that. Woo! Blur that. There's a whole lot going on, boy. Wow. Adam got turned on. That was a whole, a whole yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Listen, so. I'm going to go tell Lena, hey, guess what? <laughs> I got a surprise <laughs> for you. It's so, wax. No, that was ass. <laughs> no, I know, but you want me to f look, I'm not we switch. That. I'm not doing it. Yeah, it's your I wife. I, I feel like Adam then scoop so low, man. He willing to let whack come Jason Lover up, man. <laughs> y'all, let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section, man. Adam is sick. It might not be good for the future of the pod. Oh, I don't want her to leave you, bro. Oh, vice versa. <laughs> Jason Love did his thing, but you can't beat that white cack. <laughs> Hey, yo, you got bars. Yo, oh, hey, God. Oh, God. Remo, repost the shit. Tell Remo, repost the shit. Okay, but, okay, tell, tell me about the Pesci thing first. Um, So my IG got snatched. Pesci turned me on to this dude, right? To get it, so I don't... I don't... So if y'all not aware who Pesci is, Pesci is the one that Brick Baby was doing, going crazy about, and he was crashing out on No Jumper. I know y'all remember that. That's who Pesci is. Like the Arabian-looking dude. Say, and yeah, he was on the episode with Wack before. Y'all seen him. You know, dude's cool. I sent him a little bread or whatever. And after a couple weeks, Pesci started going in on him in the group chat. He like, bitch ass nigga, what's this, 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 that, this, this, that. I don't know what the fuck is going on because I ain't never met this dude, right? So dudes tell Pesci, you keep talking shit, I'm going to tell Wack you a rat. Mm. Good. Good. Right? I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? Right, so it's right here, bro. Right, he's telling they going back and forth, and then he sends me this clip. Okay, and it's Pesci talking to the police. Okay, because somebody was posting all that on their story so and they're attacking me. So I don't know what the f f it is. is. He says just a sneak peek. So I'm like, what the f is this? Right. So I call Pesci, and that's body cam footage from a cop. From a cop. Okay. I call Pesci. I said, look, bro. Now this is where the bullshit started. He said, look, bro, what is this clip the dude sent? I, I, it's like, you're talking to the police. Can you tell me what's going on? He said, yo, this is lying. I never told on Rand Paul. I said, Rand Paul? Now, dude had already told me this is about some dude named Tuka from the Bay. Hmm. So when I hear him, Pesci say, I never told on hey, Rand Paul. I'm like, motherfucker, this is about some dude named Tuka from the Bay. Mm -hmm. So now I already know you trying to you, you trying to flip something, right? So he gets Cuban on the phone. Did I call you? He called you. He called you, he called you right? Yeah. Cuban come on the phone. He don't know what's going on. So I say, I do the bullshit. I get in my bullshit. I say, Pesci, listen, man. I'm at a point in my life where I don't even care anymore. I just want to see if you're going to tell me the truth. If you told, you told. I don't even give Bro, I'm mm. not tripping. I got other things going on, <laughs> right? So, so, uh, so listen. That's the okay. No, so look. So I said, you know what, man? I'm just gonna get off the phone, and man, you think about what you're doing. I don't even care, right? So he hits me back and says, he tells me, I ain't doing no lying. Huh? I'm changing a lot, flaws and bad habits that I've had, but in my whole life, right? And my, I've been different in the last 27 years of my life. I never told on anybody, and I'm and I'm not in the court of law. But I love you, though, uh, and I like where your mind and energy is. So I know he took the bait. So I wait. I hear Cuban. I said, Cuban, you see what's been on the internet? He said, what? I get I get off the phone. Cuban must have found it. Whoever this Tuka dude is, the dude, the Instagram dude, then told Tuka F that released the shit. Because he's been the one telling Tuka not to release it. The dude is a foreigner dude, right? Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, I go to the crib, I go to sleep, I wake up, I get pictures of a crime scene. Blood Whoa. splattered everywhere, right? I say, yo, Q, what the f 
is this. He said Pesci. I called up with Pesci. So when I, I saw every video but the most disrespectful one, it's him in the back of a po police car and saying our neighborhood uh. while he's telling. So I guess he told and, and, and bought some guns. Dude went to jail, had to take a deal, whatever, bought some guns. So, you know. Hey. Um, and that's crazy because he was the same dude that was uh, politicking on Brick Baby. That's the one. I got to guess him and G-Face. You know, well, Brick Baby's gonna love this. He don't know. It's no way Brick knows about this. No, shit. well, I don't know that he knows that he got packed out, but he knows that he got exposed for telling, and he was had a little bit he of a really smile didn't that get day. Packed out. Okay. He lucky. Cuban Rob gave him a pass because if the other crazy man would have been in, the other crazy it'd have been bad. That was just Cuban Rob work, and it looked to me like you went light on him. You just must have just knocked him out. Yeah, he didn't. They didn't even fuck him up. They him up but he didn't get what he could have got right the mother crazy mother would have been there that shit would have been bad or if he had just been like knock him out wake him up knock that shit you know my main memory Man. of pesci was the day that Dylan is crazy that the the farmer dude uh what was his name? I already forgot. But he, uh, the prank dude. The, the prank dude. God damn it. What was his name? Uh, it was something that rhymed really good. God damn it. This kills me that I can't remember. But either way, he, he was with G Face. And when he was calling you boy over and over as part of the skit, they were about to run across the, dolomite the state. Dude, White that. Dolomite. God damn it. Yes. White Dolomite. They were going to run over here and attack him. Like your boys were mad, but they were mad. Yeah, and they were kind of. Up and they this were ready the to show this out. This is the difference, right? We all work off of each other. Right. I know they movement, they know my movement. I ain't said go. So what they was doing was some extra out shit. Because mm. it could have led to some other shit. They were ready to go without you saying math, that yeah. it was time to we go. We doing the math on everything. I got to do the math. My daughter's here. This is a place of work. And we had no jumper. All this math is going on in my head. So the homies is going to read me. I forgot that was the day her daughter was here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that it wouldn't matter. We didn't give a fuck. She didn't see some horrific shit. But <laughs> I'm just, I'm just factoring it all in. I'm factoring it all in, so, I, you know, I'm not going to be just, like, I know where I'm at. This is, like, so, but come to find out, yeah, whoever this dude took her, we might have to get him in here. Oh. Shit, I'm open to it. From the Bay, like, uh, right, I don't know, a rapper or some shit. I feel bad because Pesci has hit me up, man. Break, baby, interview the Tuka dude. Oh, yeah. Break, break, and Adam going to love that. They going to tear Pesci apart, man. At times asking for an interview and it's kind of like when somebody is like big ops with one of the hosts it's like if they're really relevant if they're like a very like popular rapper then interviewing them still probably makes yeah. sense but if it's like someone who basically is just a random dude from LA it's like why am I interviewing you if you also have a bunch of animosity towards different people on the show and shit yeah 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 it, it wasn't a reason for to do that you know I, I never even mentioned it you know but at the end of the day um, you know listen man uh, I'm refocusing my energy. I will expose your ass. Uh -huh. He's lucky that I'm not in that state of mind to where I'm pressing that. Because right. I'd have been on the phone with the homies. Boom, 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 boom. Then it would have went a little further. Uh -huh. I'm just thinking about other things. Um, uh, Lil John. Lil John. On the fingers. OTF. On the fingers merch. Mm. Last minute, I called Nick Cannon. Nick, you got the Wild and Out tour. Lil John got the On the Fingers merch. We want to, he want to put his merch at the thing. So we pushed some buttons, said, Whack, is you was family. We got his merch in there. Lil John sold, showed up, being respectful with 200 pieces. Uh -huh. He created the Wildin' Out on the Fingers merch. Shit sold out 15 minutes. Wow. That's a big thing, bro. So shout out to you, Lil Joe. No, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's big, bro. Impressive. Like, but, but, but this is how resources work. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is how resources were. I know Nick, that's my right hand. He got a fucking tour. He was um, talented enough, him and the homie, uh, what's the homie name? Scrap from Long Beach yeah. to create Wild and Out merch and red, blue, pink. What was the other color? Uh, blue. Another two, it was two tones oh, of blue. Yellow. Joint. yellow. yellow joint. Yeah. And yeah. Nick, yeah. Nick Cannon put it on and that shit sold out. So that that's good shit. That's uh, fine. Q yeah, got Clubhouse. <laughs> Got the internet, the streets. I got the internet going nuts, as they say. No, that's a fact. 
Thank you. My girl is is 44. I feel like a lot of women became big say? fans of me. She said I was the goat. I ran. I went to the uh, Good Burger room room on the hundred side of club. Whack gas and Adam. <laughs> About shout out Pet Bull, Baby Crazy O from Harlem, uh, FOI. And I said, Look, we're gonna run this cipher for an hour. Put up the poll. We running it back to back for an hour. And I want everybody to vote. We got like three, four hundred people in there. F Adam got 49% of the votes. Now, this was, I didn't listen to the shit on purpose. I never won anything in my whole day. life. My order, Adam. Yes. Lush. Who you said was going to be last. Yeah. I got to eat those words. Lush showed improved. Got to eat those words. The wood pile did good on this one. Adam, Lush, Flacco. Okay. And it's a toss up between Brick and, and Nephew. See, to me, Brick and Suspect are like the most listenable ones. Personally, I think Brick's the my favorite. The rappers did not rap the non rappers. <sighs> I, I don't know. Adam, you whack on Brick, baby, and Almighty, man. How y'all, what's y'all line up, man? Y'all tell me y'all line up down below in the comment section. Appreciate y'all for tapping this video, man. Let's get the likes up, man. I'll be back with another one. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, though. Peace.